Hello, and welcome back to Tips of Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to respond to a viewer who wants to know how he can autofill the letters of the alphabet. So the viewer wrote in to say, Danny, I know I can use autofill to increment dates. So in this case, I'm using the autofill to increment one day at a time. I can also use autofill, which always begins by moving your mouse to the lower right corner of the cell as your starting cell, and here I'm incrementing by one hour. If I want to increment numbers, here's a trick. Hold down control as you click to autofill. Holding down control reverses the default, which is to make a copy of a number, and will increment it by a series of one. We also have several built-in lists in Excel. For example, the months of the year and the days of the week. Here's a great trick when you're incrementing by uh, days of the week and you do not want to include Saturday and Sunday, in other words, the weekend days. Notice this little menu over here, the Autofill Options menu, and we can choose to fill the weekdays only. So now we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and not Saturday and Sunday. They're not the weekdays. But what about letters? We go to Autofill and we get a copy. And that's not what the viewer wants, because the viewer uses part numbers. I've also had similar requests from teachers who use letters for grading. Well, as it turns out, we can easily uh, produce the letter A with the formula when we use the character formula. Let me take you over here to another worksheet, and I'm going to show you the 255 characters that are built into Excel. They're part of the ASCII, A-S-C-I code. And character 65 is the letter A, the uppercase letter A. Character 66 is the uppercase letter B. Notice over here the character 97 is the lowercase a. And later on in the lesson, I'm going to highlight some of the other useful characters that you can use. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to combine the character function because autofilling this down without making a reference to a series that can be incremented 65 66 and the row function so here's the formula that we're going to use we're going to use the character function and then nest inside it the row function and make reference to a specific cell it doesn't matter which letter you use for the cell in this case I use a column a so let me show you how this works equals character and notice that I always type in lowercase. I'm going to nest inside this the row function. For the row function, I might want to make reference to a column. It doesn't really matter. This time I'll use column C. And I want to put in there the first letter of the character. So 65 can then be incremented to C66, C67. So I'll close off the matching parentheses. And now when we go to autofill, there you go. There are the letters of the alphabet. Now, of course, that gets a little tedious, so I'm going to show you how we can turn this into a built-in list. We can turn it into a built-in list so that we can autofill it in any workbook on this computer. So we want to have a custom list for the letters of the alphabet. Remember at this point that these are still formulas. So let's right mouse click and say copy, right mouse click to the selection and use paste special values. All right, now keep them selected. And in Excel 2010, which I'm using in the, this lesson, go to File, come down here to Options, and in the Options dialog box, choose the Advanced tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then click on the Edit Custom List. So here are the built-in list, and notice over here that our selection. So if you leave the letters that you've uh, typed or use the formula and cut a copy paste special values they're selected over here all we have to do is click import and now we have a new custom list with the letters of the alphabet so I can come over here and I don't have to start at the beginning I could start let's say with the letter F and then I can autofill and I can autofill in any direction I can autofill in reverse I can autofill to the left and also I can type in the lower case so you don't have to create a separate uh, custom list for the lower case once you have the uppercase in there it will work with lowercase as well all right, let's come back over here. And one of the characters that I use all the time is the copyright symbol. So if I type in here equals 
character C H A R uh, 169, I'm going to get the copyright symbol. Of course, I could also have the copyright symbol, let me just choose a different cell, by coming over here to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and over here with the symbols, choosing the copyright. There's another way that we can use um, uh, the copyright symbol by typing in Alt plus 0 169. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then press 0169 and I'm going to get the copyright symbol. Now I especially find this useful when I'm creating headers and footers. So let's change this view. Let's go into page layout view and then on the page layout tab, I'm sorry, I want to be in the header up here and I get a special menu over here. So for the header and footer I want to come down here into the footer and over here in the middle section I'll type in copyright space alt 0169 I'm going to get the copyright symbol and there you go so that's a lot easier to to know that that symbol exists so let's go back here into normal view view and I want to return I get out of the, the footer actually and come back here into normal view come back here into the character set. If you'd like to receive a copy of this worksheet, I'd be very happy to send it on to you so you have all of the characters or you can create it by yourself. Just type in a series of numbers and then make reference to it. So character one, you'll see some of these are non-printing characters. So it's really very easy to be able to have a handy list. And just as I close out, I remind you that I have my new online bookstore available and my first of, the, of a series of, of, of video tutorials that are extended length on average 90 minutes is on pivot tables. I make them available for Excel 2003, 2007, and 2010. And visit me at shopthecompanyrocks.com and I will look for you in the next lesson.